Re oh. Ready, set, go. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to um, take a Raspberry Pi, and with that Raspberry Pi, we're going to then uh, connect it to the cloud. And we're going to use something called this Adafruit I.O. Uh, it's a something that Adafruit's put together. Uh, right now I'm running, you can't see it because it's off camera, but I'm running this particular uh, one. I'm running kind of a standard uh, Raspbian build on it. And the one that you can't see also has a sense hat connected. Um, but we won't be using it in this particular case. Uh, this is just the beginning one to get it connected to the cloud and do a very, very, very simple uh, test, like a hello world or hello IO world. Uh, what I'm going to do first is, uh, if you're going to do this first, read through this and create yourself an account on uh, Adafruit IO. It's the same account. You can use the same account if you already have an account and have bought stuff through them, then that's great. But I would read through the overview, watch what they have. I would also go down and look at the different examples. The one we're going to do today is uh, Python based. Uh, we're not using the Arduino for this one, but I've used that one before and that one's great too. So what we want to do here is we're looking across uh, here. We have the compatible hardware. We have a Raspberry Pi uh, version 3, model B. And I'm looking right now to get this client library. And this is the command and of course anytime using the sudo command be really careful because that's you know your super user at that point. Super user do with great power becomes great responsibility. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, go ahead and copy this command and you can or just type this one directly into the directory. Uh, if we look down a little bit further at all the other stuff that's here, um, if you don't already have pip installed, this uh, Python library system, then you need to go ahead and do that first. But I know from my class experience that we already have installed this for a previous part, uh, previous project. We're going to go down. This is uh, only compatible with Python 3, this library, so when you're building this up and moving forward, you need to keep that in mind. If you want to look at examples, you can also uh, move your, navigate yourself to the desktop and clone, it, clone down the examples. Uh, some of these examples are a little more complex than maybe you're used to, so don't maybe jump into those just yet and get too confused. So first things first, uh, make your account with Adafruit.io, and then uh, we're going to go here and Put, type in this command. Oh, look, I've already typed it in. So if I go ahead and I run this now, it should give me a quick installation, or seemingly quick installation. Uh, there we go. All right. So as it does that install, we're going to, it just takes a moment, and it puts in those libraries for us. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our, our, um, we're going to use Thani, I think, for this one. We're going to use the, this is our editor instead of the idle. I'm starting, this is starting to grow on me. The errors tend to have a little bit more, a uh, little more descriptors to it. So what we're going to do first here is we're going to import um, our, our Adafruit library. Here we'll just say libraries. So in this case, it's um, from Adafruit underscore capital I-O, import, and we're just going to import the whole thing. So that that uh, asterisk is means that we're importing everything. That's a wild card, meaning to catch it all. And then next, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in, I'm uh, making a variable, I'm going to call it uh, A-I-O, and then I'm going to use the a command from the library that we just imported called client. And you can go look. This is written in Python, most of this stuff. So you can go and look, but it's a little overwhelming if you want. If you want. But I always encourage you to look under the hood. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in two different values. And, and what we need here is it's going to be our, uh, our user ID and uh, key is what we're looking to add in here. So there's going to be two different things. And to get these, this is where we need to go to uh, Adafruit. And if we go to our... Adafruit IO. Let's see. I don't have that tab open, but let's get there. Dot Adafruit. So if we start off right here, and I've already signed in with my account, um, but you, it's easy enough to make an account, and it's free for the if you're only doing so much sampling. And what I'm looking for here is I'm going to create uh, look for this. 
AIO key. So currently my username is urban at work too. And then I have this key. And right after I make this post this video, I will regenerate my key and wipe it out. So you can, you can go try to use this key if you really want to, but it's going to be a waste of your time. So I'm going to make sure I copy that. And they have a couple of nice little examples here. If you're looking, if you're doing an Arduino or in a Linux shell or scripting, this is a little bit more like what we're doing right now. You could set them as variables like that. Right now we're going to pass those two variables to the client just all in one command. I'm trying to keep this as short and sweet as possible. So my user ID, urban at work2, and then apostrophe, and then my key. And all of that also needs to be in a apostrophe or, qu or quotes. All right, so, so far, so good, I think. Um, let me just double check that I, my name is, I'm looking to make sure it's all the same case, up and down. And what I'm gonna do next is, I've got all of that in. I'm gonna save this, because I haven't saved it yet, it's still untitled. Let's do a quick save to the desktop. We'll call this, um, oops, we'll call this Adafruit IO. Hello. <clears throat> so what we're going to do next is we are going to, I could actually run this and test it to see if it actually can even do that initial call. So far, no big explosions or fireworks. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to very quickly just make a, a value in here. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to give it a number. Uh, let's just pick it be a number to start off with. And what we want to do is we want to be able to send this number up to the cloud so that it can be easily read, but I need a place for it to land. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say, and go to my feeds, and I'm going to th think of your feed as the place where the data is coming in or going out of. So from here under feeds, and they're, in, and they're kind of in the right like order here, from home, feeds, dashboards, trigger services, you usually want to start from the top of this list. There seems to be a logical order. And I'm going to say create new feed. I create this new feed. I'm going to say hello. Um, I'll say hello to. Hello one. Hello one. I'll say hello one. Oh, it all has to be lowercase, by the way. There's a couple rules here about Adafruit IO. It has to be all lowercase. Uh, generally, I think when you're doing the variable names here, you probably want them to be um, just standard, straight, forward. I'm going to do it actually like this. Hello, IO, one. How's that? So this is going to be just our little test. Um, and I'm going to create that feed. So I need to remember exactly what that one's called. The key is what it's really referring to here. So if it has like the dash in it and you try to use that as a variable name over on the scripting side, you'll have to put that one in quotes. So in this case, I want it to actually be just no dashes, no nothing, just strictly letters and numbers. So here I've got hello. I'm going to actually copy that so I don't mistype it during this. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell that AIO. Remember, this is an object now because we've kind of applied to it. And we're going to say send. Where am I going to send it to? I'm going to send it to that variable I just made. And what am I going to send? I'm going to send that number. So this, this number here, hello, I guess I got too many. Number. We'll do it like this. Number. So it's a little more clear, maybe. Maybe. So what I've done so far is I've just set up these two and I have it set so I can say run that. Now, if this all works, let's see what our issue is. It says invalid syntax for a number. Number. Oh, oh, I'm missing a comma. Why didn't anybody tell me? So let's try that one more time. And it's going, it's sending, it looks like everything worked. So how do we check and see if that worked? Uh, right now there are other ways I can tell this to have feedback. I can have it pull the feed after it's done it. I can have a check to make sure that it happened. But right now what I can do is I can come up here and see that it's showing up. So here that last value that's been put in is there. Now, this is not really the ideal way. So 
the next thing you set up is a dashboard. The dashboard will, I hope, load. And then from the dashboards, I can now create a new dashboard. My hello, IO world. I hope I didn't call the last one that. Um, this is our testing area. Uh oh. And here comes a class. But if I go into this hello IO world, I can come in here to this blank space and quickly just select a new block. My new block can come in here and I can use text, I can use a gauge, I can link it to anything I want. Right now I'm going to let it be this one, this hello IO one. And if I click next and use that, I can make it so that anything I change now will be part of that block. So here it says it's 42. If I go back to my uh, command here and I say, um, got to go, and then send this one up. It's no longer a number, but sending up a string. It doesn't care what the data is, but if I go quickly now and look, here you can see my, my data has gotten sent up. Now I can come over here and kind of adjust and run these things quickly to kind of reformat it. <clears throat> but I hope all of that made sense. Uh, good luck and comment and subscribe. <laughs> oh, I hear somebody at the door.